I want to welcome you again to another edition of the Coach uh, Godwin Show. I'm your coach, Karan Godwin, all-time leading scorer at the University of North Florida, also author of the great new book that's getting rave reviews out there on the Internet. Um, Everyone hates a ball hog, but they all love a score. Uh, Today we're going to get into uh, attitude and mentality. Um, I just had the pleasure of of speaking to uh, one of the great influences in my life, Uh, Coach uh, Chris Chavanez from um, St. Patrick's in New Jersey, um, Elizabeth, New Jersey. For those of you uh, basketball fans out there, I'm sure you're familiar with St. Pat's and and just the um, powerhouse that they are. You know, St. Anthony's, of course, is up the street, uh, Jersey City, and of course now you have St. Benedict's. But St. Pat's was a place that was uh, dear to me, so to speak, because uh, this is where I I, I, uh, cultivated my attitude and um, just hone my skills in, in that gym. And uh, Coach uh, Chris Chavanez was a, a big part of that. Um, he was uh, one of those guys that um, started his own AAU team, Fast Break. And uh, we had some pretty good players. We, we won the state of uh, New Jersey uh, my year uh, as far as the AAU goes. And, um, you know, just had some good, good times. But more importantly, I want to talk about the lessons that I learned from uh, Coach uh, Chris Chavanez. Uh, as I put in my book, um, Everyone Hates a Ball Hog. Coach Chris was um, instrumental in um, implementing um, that mentality of um, actually taking that hard work and, um, and, and applying it towards the game. Um, a lot of times, you know, you go out there and, and you play and you watch TV and you get caught up in the hype or you reach a little bit of, of success and uh, you start feeling yourself. Um, folks i mean i understand i've been there before well um when i first met coach um, chris fanis uh, i was at a stage in my life where i'm um, coming from the town next over from elizabeth um not too far from st patch roselle you know i was the man where i was from you know i had a great jump shot um you know th- things things this came easy to me and uh chris told me from the beginning uh, when i started uh, playing with him on the aau team fast break that things were going to change uh, he put me on a higher level. I was about 15 years old. He, he made me play with the 17 and under. And for those of you have, who have played AAU before, you know the 17 and, and under is what you always strive for. That's, that's where the best kids are all around the country, uh, traveling to Vegas, to various t- tournaments. Uh, that's the big time where, or where the big time talent is. And um, he taught me how to work hard and, and, and how to always have a, a, a just a stellar attitude and um, work for what you want. And you know, what he used to do is, as I explained in my book, uh, he used to come pick me up because he used to do, back in the day, I do jumpstarthoops.com, which is how I, you know, become your personal trainer. And, and you know, if you ever need advice or, or, or need something to look at, I have my videos and also my book. But he was one of those guys that did individual instruction in the area. And it was, it was extremely tough for me. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, from the beginning, you know, he, he, you never knew what you were getting yourself into from day to day. Uh, one day you come in the gym, his chairs all over the gym. He said, okay, what, what does he have us doing now? Doing all different type of dribbling di- drills and going back and forth, crossovers, behind the back, between the legs, you know. Then he would teach us how to come around screens, you know, teach us about the footwork. Teach us how to, um, you know, actually come off a screen, plant your inside foot, and go right into your jump shot. I mean, all the things that uh, players need to know, but unless someone really teaches you or you go out there and you search for this information on the Internet, you're just not going to know. And um, with him teaching us um, in in each drill, you always had to finish the drill. Uh, There was no such thing as you going soft. I mean, you had to go hard from the the beginning. And um, after a while, you know, going uh, to these sessions with, with Coach Chris, I realized what it takes to get to the next level. And it was so much knowledge that was implanted in me that um, when I would go home um, back to Roselle and, um, you know, times where, where it was the season or just ended or he wasn't starting his AAU or sessions, I would work on this stuff by myself. And, and I learned at that point in time is that this is how you work hard and this is how you get to, to the next level. 
one of the things that um, Coach Chris and I talk about now is um, attitude and just this uh, get-rich-quick mentality. Uh, I want it now. I'm going to the NBA mentality that a lot of uh, the kids today have. And I tell you, there's, there's a big problem with that. Now, I understand um, cause and effect, and I understand that um, ESPN highlights uh, these these awesome athletes and these great players. I mean, you take a guy like LeBron James or Dwight Howard and uh, just, just look at them. I mean, just look at them. You can tell that, that these guys were were made <laughs> or, or just, you know, their God-given ability, talent, and size, and skill to be in the NBA. But to be honest, that's not realistic for 99% of the population. I mean, you're not just going to be 6'8", can touch the top of the backboard, have handle, have have the third eye and the ability to pass. I mean, a lot of that stuff that these guys have, I'm not saying that, that they didn't work hard. I'm just saying the attributes that they have, and a lot of you kids play video games, so you know what I'm talking about. You know, that, that, that 99 jumping ability, that speed, that quickness, that size, that actually um, um, translated into potential for the guys in the NBA and the guys that, that are always constantly looking for guys to to um, – to, to become a part of the NBA and become part of the league, a lot of kids just don't have. And I think the mentality now is, okay, if I can somehow get myself to the level where, where I'm dunking on people or I got a pretty nice crossover and I can get to the basket, that, that I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to go to college for one or two years or three at the most, and then I'm going to end up in the league. And uh, this is so far from the truth. Because most of you are going to have to put in that hard work that it takes to get to the next level, you know. I know you look at some people and you say, oh, well, this guy did it, this that guy did it. I mean, nowadays we got kids that play so much AU and that are so gifted that a lot of them are, are, are getting instant success in the league, you know, or, or instant success in um, college where they're coming out as freshmen. I mean, not too long ago when I was coming up, for a freshman to, to just even be a starter was a big thing. You know, nowadays, freshmen know they're going to start from the, from, the, from the get-go, and they're already looking at the NBA um, um, as a viable option even before they complete their college years. So, and so let's talk about this attitude and this mentality. Uh, I would think that no matter how good you think you are or how good you are, let's say you are a stellar player, let's say everyone's um, um, all the – all the pundits and all the the broadcasters are, are are just bigging you up. You're in magazines. You're you're this all American kid. You're this. You're that. And they're comparing to you to all these guys and Vince Carter and Kobe Bryant. Um, you still have to put in the hard work, and you still have to realize that there's a difference between um, potential. I mean, you you have to know what potential means. And the kids these days don't understand potential. Uh, they think just because you compare them to LeBron James or you say that their game is most like this player, they think that they're already there, and, and that's not the case, all right? What people are doing is saying you have the potential to be great, all right? So, But with that word potential, uh, there's a downside to it. It also means you're not there yet. So I encourage all you guys out there that have this get-rich-quick uh, mentality, I'm going straight to the league, that – Bear down, get your fundamentals down, and make sure you are the best basketball player you can be. But it, but it has to come from that hard work you're putting in. Guys like Kobe Bryant are putting in hours in the gym on their jump shot, on their ball handling. He's always honing his game. Don't become a guy that just um, rests on your athleticism and, and the hype. There are so many guys before you that, that have been exposed in college and in the NBA and they, they were soon um, sent their bags and, and went packing because they, they believed in the hype and, and that big word potential, all right? So till next time, make the best out of what you have right now. Make sure you're working hard. Uh, go ahead and get that book. It's, it's selling very, very well. Everyone hates a ball hog, but they all love a score. And log on to jumpstarthoops.com. And feel free to send me an email, coachgodwin at jumpstart33.com. I'm um, receiving a, a ton of good emails from, from kids all around the world now, China, United States, everywhere. Um, people really want basketball information and, and, and know how to get to that next level. So uh, today's podcast was on hard work and attitude, and uh, make sure you're taking your game to the next level. Till next time, Coach Godwin, I'm out.